Hello everybody, welcome back to Stinker77. We're back on Full Craft today. This is the second video I've actually recorded today, which is uh, kind of something unusual for me. I don't usually do back-to-back -back recordings, but my last video was getting kind of long, so we're back here again, and we're going to continue on working with what I was doing. I was working with the uh, smart chickens. I'd like to get some more eggs and slowly, slowly get these up to 1010. So I'm doing that, but while I'm waiting, I've also been working on a storage system. This is using Applied Energy 6.2. And in the last video, we were able to got power and a charger so we can charge Certus Quartz crystals. We made an energy acceptor, an inscriber, and we got the disk drive, the ME drive, okay? So we're going to start today. We're going to be working on making these disks. There's 10 of them here, and that way we have storage, and then we can work on the interface for it. And now, then we have a real storage system, okay? But before I begin, of course, hey, if you're liking this video and this series, please hit that like button. That's fantastic. Also, if uh, you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, YouTubers need all the help we can get, so uh, subscriptions are critical. And so I thank you in advance for that. Okay, so we're going to get started here. Uh, I have this system right here. I have There are 10 slots. We're going to make 10 of these 1K ME storage cells. These are the lowest level storage cells. It takes iron, it takes redstone, we've got that. We're going to make up quartz glass. We need 20 pieces of glass. So we're going to do that first. Um, let's see if we can do that. And we need right here. Um, and we made 16. Not enough. Looks like we need a little bit more of the stuff and of the glass. So let me, uh, let's put some of this stuff away that I don't need at the moment. And let's go see if we can find some more. Um, I thought I had a lot more glass made. I may not, in which case we'll just make some, oh, there's some glass, great. And I think I have some quartz, yes. Okay, so let's grab some of that and we're gonna put that in here real quick. We'll do a bunch more. We need five more, I think. There's three plus five and we'll make the glass. Here we go. Okay, so we have our, where'd it go? Did I put it away in here? I did. <laughs> okay. So there's a 20 of those. That's good. Now, we've got everything else except for the final part. And I'm going to uh, cut the video here. And we'll go back and we'll talk about this. This place, this is the, uh, this piece, excuse me, is the 1K ME storage component. This is actually like the memory unit, like a memory chip if you think about it. And what it takes is redstone and Certus Quartz uh, crystals. We have those. And we have to make a logic processor. And we're going to need 10 of these. Okay. So these are gold with a logic press okay and we're also going to need more of the silicon so let's make up some of the silicon in our inscriber we need a uh, silicon where is it that one we need a total of 10 so we're going to do this for a little bit let me do that and then we'll come back and we'll do the gold part and then we'll be back after that all right this is our 10th silicon now we're going to work on the logic press because i believe that's what it said to make let's make sure logic processor right which takes the logic press, right? Okay, so we're in the right location. Logic press, we need to make 10 of these. Again, we can't put more than one piece in at a time right now. So we'll do that and we'll have to get 10 of these. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We have 10 of those. Excellent. Now those will go up there. These 10 here and it didn't do that. Come on, take it out. There it goes. Sometimes it doesn't want to do what I'm talking about. Oh, you got to do one at a time. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is painful. Okay, so we gotta do this one at a time. We're gonna make these logic processors. Here's one. See that, we've got one. So now we have to do that nine more times. And again, I'll do that off camera. Be right back. Here is the last one. And there we go, we've got those, okay? So now we should be able to make this. I've got Certus Quartz in me and we have redstone on me. So let's see, uh, here we go, we'll make this. We should have 10 of those. And there we are, we have 10. And then we can make this. Okay, and where all my glass go? Did I put it away again? I did. I do that a couple times there. Okay, but there we have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It stuck them in the chest by right there, and that's fine. So now we're going to go over here, and I'm going to put those drives in the system. And you can see they're lit up with green air lights, and uh, that means that they the system is getting the power it needs, and it's functional. Oh, why did I put them there? Ah, okay. And so there we go. That's it. That's all that's needed for this. This is good to go. It's got stuff. But how do you get stuff into it? And that's the next thing we're going to work on here. We need to have a, a Fluix cable, first of all. We're going to put this on top here. 
and it does connect to all these. And on, on this section here, we're going to put a crafting terminal. That's the next thing we're going to look at. So let's take a look here. This is the crafting terminal. You can see it takes the crafting table. That's easy. It takes a calculation processor. So we'll need that, and then we'll need to make the ME terminal, which is all of this, right? Which is another logic processor. Well, we know how that is. We can make that. And then the uh, illuminated panel, more of the glass, glowstone, and redstone, and iron. It's all very doable stuff. So let's make the panels first here. I need to get some more of the quartz so that we can make the, um, the glass. So three more here. We'll do this real quick. And I think I have glowstone. I may not have glowstone. Uh, let's go check. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Nothing there. Uh, maybe have to go and get oh, there's some glowstone. We have a little bit. Not a lot, though. And that's uh, too bad. Um, okay, so anyway, let's turn this off here. Double-clicking on this will take it from being the darkened background. It's kind of helpful to search. Like glow, I can see that it's lit up. And that's what I did there, so in case you are wondering. So we are making um, uh, the uh, illuminated panel. Right? It's the regular illuminated panel. We're making the glass there. We have that. And then we'll make that. There we have our three illuminated panels. That's easy. Okay? Now we're going to do the crafting terminal again. This is what our goal is, and we got to make more of this. Okay? Let's make another logic processor. So I'll go do that, and then I'll be back. Okay, we have the logic processor. That's good. Okay, and we need to get, this is a formation core and an annihilation core. The formation core looks pretty easy. It's just quartz. It's flux dust, which is a flux crystal pulverized. And another logic processor. And this one is the same thing. So we got to make this again. It's, this is, wait, so hold on. Formation core. And the other one's an annihilation core, which is, what's the difference? Wait a second. Am I missing something? Nether quartz, flux dust, logic processor is for the annihilation. I think I did something wrong here. And for the formation is uh, charge surface. So one is the other, one is this. That's easy to do. So we need to get two of these, and we got to need to get the dust. So I'm going to do that right now. This shouldn't take very long. I will do this pretty quick, making more of these logic processors. So we're getting there. Okay, I'm finishing up making these logic processors. This doesn't take too long. We're going to do that here. One of these and one of these. Okay, so while that's working, we also need to make more of the flux crystals. And we know that we have to do that by charging up uh, one of these. So let's charge this up oh, right there. Okay. And it still says it contains Certus Quartz Crystal. Let's grab this out. It's done. Now it says charge. We'll grab that. It's down here. You have to take this here. It takes redstone and some quartz. Okay, and there we go. We should pop it out real quick that we have it. Now it makes dust. So let's just grind this up in here. There's one and there's two. So we have the two cores and we have that. That's pretty easy. So now we just need to figure out each of these. One is is nether quartz, and the other one I believe was uh, was it pure or was it doesn't matter. Just sort of quartz crystal. So let's do that over here. Okay, we're gonna make this. And we have that because we have the Certus Quartz Crystal. And we're going to do the other one over here, which is that. And we have that. And there we go. So now we can make the ME Terminal. Okay. Excellent. So we're getting very close to this. So we're going to get a crafting table. That's so easy. Now it's a calculation processor, which is the same thing. Silicon, redstone, printed calculation circuit, which is just a pure Certus Quartz Crystal. So I'm going to have to look at how to get this. And I think this is the trick of the whole system. So let me do some research and I'll be back. Okay, so we are hitting the one big uh, block that always happens with this particular pack. And that is the pure Certus Quartz right here. The pure Certus Quartz crystal. The only way to get this is by dropping a Certus Quartz seed made from Certus Quartz dust and sand into a puddle of water. Now this process uh, is not quick like the Flux crystal. It is very, very slow. I'm talking hours of regular time not game time, regular time. It takes a long time. To make it go faster, add crystal growth accelerators. Okay, so what I'm thinking about doing is making um, some crystal growth accelerators first before I start this process, okay? Now, if you look at the crystal growth accelerator here, it takes a bunch of stuff, more of the glass. This is Fluix blocks, more cables. So we're gonna have to make a bunch of this stuff. 
this is going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of time to get the fluid blocks because it's basically eight of these, okay? And if I make four of these, I'm going to have to have 32 of these, which means we're going to have to do 16 of the crystals charged and making that stuff. So we're going to be doing this for some time, you know, making more of these. Is it? It's not charged yet. See there, it went charged. Put another one in. Doing all this work, kind of grindy. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to go over and do that right now and get the... Um, Try to make it so that I have all the ingredients for the growth chambers before we set it all up, and then I'll bring it back when we set it up. Here we are. I think I've got everything I need. Now, I've dug out a space here. Of course, I was went outside of the, of the uh, hill, but that's okay. We're good. And I'm going to make the four crystal, crystal growth accelerators to be here with the water in the center. So I think I've got all the materials that I need. So let's just go and see. I told you I'd do this with you. So we have that. And if we bring it in, we have four of these, okay? And that's good. Now, the thing is we have to have these pointing into the space where we're going to be growing the crystal. So that one, I think, is pointing up, I believe. I think it was supposed to go this way. Why is it not pointing this way? There it goes. And I want this one to point this way. I see it's pointing up. So we're going to have to have a block to point it against. That's okay. I'm going to grab it. We're going to go off this way. It's the other pointing inward. And do that over here. And let's put a block here. And there we go. Okay, so they're all pointing in. That's what we want. Now, the system has to use those ME cables. And so we have more of those, right? So we're going to hook these up. Um, I thought it hooked up. Uh, does it have to hook up in the back of it? It might have to hook in the back. Hold on. Oop, I went down. That's not right. Okay. Yes. Okay, you see how it charged. So we're going to have to go around a different way. So let me just figure this out here. I did not know that, so um, has to go around here. Okay, it's tied in. You can see they're charged, and they show like a little like a lightning effect there. So okay, we're gonna go out. It's probably gonna go outside, but that's okay. We'll block that up in just a couple seconds. I do have a uh, mega torch over here, so there shouldn't be any monsters. It just looks kind of crappy right now. Okay, so let's go back through here. Okay, and. There we go, okay? So now they're all charged up. And uh, what we can do now is, let's take this water here. Uh, where is my bucket? Did I put the bucket someplace? Oh, I did, I had some lava in it. That's why I got it out of me, because I didn't want to lose it. Okay, we'll take the bucket and we're gonna put it in here. And there we go. So now that thing is gonna be working uh, for us to do this crystal growth acceleration. Okay, so now, if you remember what it said for the pure crystal, is this it? Yes. Drop a certus quartz seed made from certus quartz dust and sand. Okay, so let's make some certus quartz dust. Okay, I'm going to make two seeds here. So there's that, and we need two sand. Well, we have sand. Okay, and there we go. And now we're going to go over here. Um, excuse me. Okay, here we go. Two seeds. Oh, we got four seeds. Now these will not despawn when we put them in here, but they'll grow faster than it would otherwise, but it's still gonna be kind of slow. So, so we're just gonna have to let that sit and we're gonna be doing some stuff for a little while while we wait. And then eventually it will, uh, yeah, it'll be what we need. So let me see if I can get some more of this material here that's blocks and stuff. And we're gonna do some repair work. Let's go to repair real quick. I got tons of cobble on me now. <laughs> Looks terrible. And there we go. I'll put some more blocks there. Here we go. At least it's like enclosed. <laughs> Doesn't look too, too bad. Okay. So there we go. So we're going to wait. And uh, hopefully when we get back, we'll have this all done. And they'll be... Oh, did I pick them up? I did. See, it's at 6% and 6%. So it won't take too long. There we go. Uh, oh, I picked them up again. Darn it. Try not to pick them up. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to wait. Okay, we're out of the way. And uh, we'll do this some stuff, and we'll be back in a bit. All right. This is just about done here. I had to add another uh, magmatic generator, um, which I'm trying to keep up to date on power. Um, they're using the lava. It was running out, so the crystal growth chamber things were not working. But it looks like they're done. I see crystals here, so let's see if we can get those. 
okay? And they are pure Surtis Quartz crystals. Excellent. Now, we're going to go back over here to the inscriber. And this we need to get the, this right here, okay? This is going to make the pure Surtis Quartz. It's going to make the uh, calculation processor. And that's what we need right here. So we put this here, here, and redstone. Okay, and I think that's the last piece we need for this whole setup. Okay, so some of the stuff's over here, uh, like that is, uh, what else did we need for it? Let's go see. We needed the uh, crafting terminal. Uh, crafting table. Ha, huh, we can do that. Okay, so let's get one of those. There we are, we'll do that. And there we have the crafting terminal, okay? I'm going to stick it right here. And now, here's where the magic is, everybody. We finally did it. We're here, we're here, we're here. We can take this stuff, and we can just start to throw it in. We don't care. And I think I want that on me, though. But that's it. I mean, it's the system that's ready to go. You can see we have the items here. Now, I'm going to sort it by uh, number of items, so it's higher up, right? Okay, and I'm going to make it automatically synchronized with over here. So if we search on something like, um, I don't know, like a boat, you can see it searches here, but it also searches here. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to start to throw all this junk that we have into here. Okay, so let me go do that, and uh, we'll be back soon. Everything is in the storage system. It's right here. I can see everything. We got a lot of those uh, sky stones from the, the um, meteors, but that's okay. We got a lot of stuff here, but all these chests, except for this little bit, is gone. And that's great. Now, over here, I did some eggs, and you can see that the chickens have come out. So we need to get an animal net. And what's nice is I can just go over to here. I'll put this in here, and I'll say, I need my animal net. I start to search for it, and it tells me right away I've got one here. I got one that has a flint chicken in it. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to get this guy. First, I'm going to get rid of these. So we're going to do that. We don't need them anymore. There we go, because these are better. Okay, so here we go. Let me grab them. Put him in that. Put that one in there. There we go. And now we wait. And of course, they have eggs here that we don't need. Like this one here is a bad one. This one's a bad one. This one's a bad one. Okay, so I'll take those and I'll put them in my trash. Those are regular eggs, so I can keep those. Um, put some regular eggs over here for now. And I'm going to cook up this uh, chicken. So we are about ready to start some more uh, fun stuff here. Um, I have to think what I'm going to do. I have some ideas. We're going to be working on chickens most of the time, but you know we got some other things we want to do. So let me uh, work on these chickens for a little bit. I'll be back. Just another quick progress update for you. Um, I have been working at this system here with the chickens. Now let me tell you what I'm doing here. I reconfigured this a little bit to be a little nicer looking. Um, these though keep running out of power, and I keep having to use the lava. Now this will end up being used up sometime sooner or later so i really have to get to the lava chickens as fast as i can so that i can get uh, fuel for this because every so often they shut down and then the whole storage system shuts down okay so i'm trying to get to lava chickens now when you go over here and you look at lava chickens lava chickens is from coal and nether quartz chicken so let's look at coal and cold chicken just takes flint chickens and log chickens. Well, I had that, and I put those here, and I was able to get two cold chickens. So I have them right there, and I'm letting them breed up. So they're already breeding 10, 10, 10 eggs, and get coal. So that's good. So we have that chicken, and soon we'll be able to put it into our chest here where we hold all the, uh, the chickens and their nest, nests and everything, uh, the nets, I mean. Okay, so the other side of it here is nether quartz chicken. Nether quartz chicken takes bone white chicken and iron chicken. Now, iron chicken just takes bone white and flint, okay, which we have flint. So bone white's the next one. I have a bone white chicken here. It's going along with this uh, smart chicken, and so we're slowly going to get the bone white up to 1010. Then we'll be able to make the iron chicken, and then we'll make the nether quartz chicken, and then we'll make the lava chicken. So I'm going to continue on this process, and uh, I'll give you another update here shortly. Well, I should say longly because it's going to take me a little while to get there, but I'll give you another update shortly for you. Uh, when we have a little bit more progress, okay? Okay, I'm recording this in the middle of the stream, so uh, forgive me. We've uh, been waiting around here doing a lot of the chickens, and we have some string chickens and nether quartz chickens and some coal chickens. We also have, finally, the lava chicken. There's one right there. It's starting to uh, get ready to hatch. I've also just played around with some stairs. 
But anyway, I spent some time over here and worked out a system here and made us clean this up a lot so that we have the, a lava chicken and all of its drops that are lava go into here, which then feed into our generators and provide power for our system. And all the other drops go over here, which is the uh, trash, so all the manure and that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. <laughs> and in chat, everybody's going happy, being happy because they get to see a behind the scenes view of how I do the videos. So anyway, that's about all I have time for, um, to her today at least. So, uh, thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And if you like to be notified of any videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon, please. And, uh, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.